Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this episode, I'm gonna show you a simple, easy way to enable RDP function on your Windows 10 Home version. As you may know, Windows RDP features has been disabled or removed from Windows Home version. If you want to have RDP, you have to pay extra $60 more to get Pro version. But if you want to save this $6, you can take a look at my this blog post and watch this video that might save you $6 by running RDP features on your Windows 10 Home Edition. All has been done by this great project, RDP Wrap in GitHub. This project hasn't been updated for four years but with some other genius work, we still can count on this RDP RAP project with just little bit update from other people's work. Now, let's jump into the video. I'm gonna show you step by step. Let's start it. This is the completely new home edition I just installed. If you look at the system, you will see that Windows 10 Home version 22H2 just installed a couple days ago. RTP function is not there. You won't be able to do the RTP if you look at the advanced system settings on a remote. Comparing to the um, Pro version, you will see Pro version has this remote desktop option on a remote tab in the system properties. But the home version doesn't have it. That means if you're trying to do MSTSC to your local machine, it won't work. No matter you do it from remote or from local testing, because the remote service isn't there. We will find out a way to use the GitHub project RDP Wrap to enable it. Since Microsoft still keep the remote desktop service and files in the home system, Microsoft just disabled this function from home edition. How we can enable it? So you go to the GitHub. Let's search RDP. The first result to come up will be the one we're going to look at to it. RDP wrap. It's already got 4.9k fork and 11.5k stars. Unfortunately, this project hasn't been updated for almost five years. The method mechanism behind this project still works very well. We can directly go to the latest release 1.6.2, download the zip file, not MSI file since it won't work. Open file. You may want to unzip it to a specific folder. To get it installed or running is pretty simple. Once you extract it, there's an install BAT file. You can take a look what's inside it. But basically, just run, double click, run the install. It's a BAT file because the publisher is unknown. They gave you this warning. That's okay, we trust it. It has been verified many times. So two seconds, that BAT file running, gonna be finished. Then we can press any key to continue. You may want to run RDP conf file to try to see the configuration. You will see a problem here. The configuration file version is 1.5, but the service state shows running. Unfortunately, the listener state is not listening. Our RDP service version is 
1949. Why it's not listening? Why it shows not supported? That is because this project hasn't been updated for a long time, five years. The Windows update already update the service files. The support version is old since they not updating the RDP rep.ini file, which is located on the program files, RDP wrapper. There's the RDP rep INI file. Each time when there's a new version comes out, those settings has to be changed based on this new version. Unfortunately, the last version is 17763. That's how we got not supported because the INI file hasn't been updated for a long time, last four years. If we can have this new INI file, then this RTP wrapper program will still work. We can give it a try for the RDP now since we install the program RDP wrap. We have service running. Listener is not listening because it's, the version is not supported. We won't be able to RTP to it. How we can get latest RDP rep to INI file? That's also simple, easy to do. Let's go to GitHub homepage, search RDP rep to INI file. The first result is the one we need to get. As you can see, three days ago, they already updated this RDP wrap INI file. You can click on it, copy this INI file content, make a copy this INI file, can copy to your notepad or you can directly open the original RDP wrap add it just completely paste it in save it you might need to get into admin mode to change the file because we don't have permission Let's cancel that. Let's open this folder as administrator. Then we use Notepad to add it. We're going to add it RTP wrap to INI file. Now we should be able to make a change on this file. Close it. Close it. One more thing we need to do is stop the terminal service and start it again. You can tell now the listener status shows full supported, but we haven't restarted our service. Either you can restart the computer or you can just go to the command line and restart the service. So we're going to do the command line. Right click command prompt and run as administrator. From the administrator window, net stop term service. Then we start it again. Now we can double check RDP conf. It's listening, fully supported, 
service status running oh uh, looks great you can do rdp check by double click rdp check exe file you will see local rdp checker will show you the remote desktop window You can also run MSTSC from your command line and using remote desktop connection to connect to it. Of course, you can ask in you your credentials. From there, you will be able to log in again. Based on the GitHub project, RDP, RAP.ini, and RDP RAP project. We should be able to enable Windows Home versions RDP function again. The key feature is up to 15 concurrent sessions will be supported. The actual limitation depends on your hardware and OS version. So we also can use same user simultaneously for local and remote locking. We also can do shadowing for the console and RDP session. Multiple monitors supported. Pretty cool. I hope this video give you some useful information. If you like it, as usual, please subscribe the channel and give me a thumb up to support me. Thank you for watching. See you in my next episode.